Hello everyone, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Let's get back into it. I'm level 52 now. I think I was level 51 last time. Did a couple of more quests, so you know, level ups are bound to happen. We're going to be doing Dunban's fourth skill tree quest, I believe. Something else, by the way, that I noticed, because I looked at uh, Melia's fourth skill tree earlier, and as soon as the game loads in enough for me to press the minus button and open up the menu and whatnot, I'll be able to show you. Any day now. There we go. Uh, I'm going to just go over to Melia's skill tree really quick. Something I did not know is that extra skill trees cost less SP. As you can see, all of the primary skill trees, it doesn't say so on the originals anymore because I finished them, but they all have the same amount, would be 300 to 700 to 1,000 to 2,000 to 3,500. But then her newest one is 200 to 500 to 800 to 1,000 to 1,500. So a lot a lot quicker to get the level ups there. Also, it looks like you potentially max out at 99 affinity coins. Do you max out at 99 affinity coins? Maybe. I meant to do skill links off screen, but I didn't. But that's not a big deal right now. It's fine. All right, cool. Let's, uh, da, 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 da. I have to use Dunban for this part because, you know, Dunban has to do his own skill tree shenanigans. I guess I'll know when someone levels up or I kill another monster that gives affinity, like another signature monster that would give me an affinity coin if you can go above 99 or not. I honestly don't know. What can we do to maintain echo, uh, echo? <laughs> ecological balance of mountain? Hmm, hmm. Still haven't found the answer? Not yet. It's a tricky one to solve. Wait a second. Okay, my audio is recording. Thank goodness. What? Isn't it a simple matter? There are two forces against each other. One side has a leader, the other side doesn't. The balance of power has simply been disrupted, correct? That's it. Just kill strong leader, right? Then everything back to normal. I don't think that would truly get everything back to normal, but uh, yeah, temporary balance. It'll probably get you a temporary balance. However, the problem is the Chilkin leader's disappearance. It may be that he is just in hiding and observing the situation. If that's true, then Balance No can come back. That's why we only have one option available to us. We must eliminate both leaders. Eh, I like where this is going. I understand. That's gotta work. They'll be so busy fighting over who becomes successor, yep. And the former power balance of Valak Mountain will be restored. Although I doubt that conflict itself will cease. Chilkins and Antols have lived on this mountain for a long time. That's how this mountain ha always has been and always will be. That may be true. If you agree, then we will help. Really? Then it's a good thing I know where Antol Leader is. Oh, cool, but where's the Chilkin one? He's in Antol Den and Cave Inside Hollow Bone, okay? You just have to try and find missing Chilkin Leader. Understood. Sorry, everyone, but I really think we should accept this request. Uh, yeah, let's do it, man. So I have to find and kill both of them. Do it for all the creatures that live on Valak Mountain. I will. So I have to kill the Antol that's at the Antol Den, which I think is, uh at the top area near Valak Peak, isn't it? No, it isn't. Where's is the Antol then? Could have sworn that's where it was. Does it come up as a, uh, not a fast travel? Nope, there's the Chilkin layer, and there's the Peace layer. My own is right elbow. Huh. Where would that be at? Because I honestly don't know. You know what? Where am I right now? Where I want to be. Okay, cool. We're going to go jump in the geyser. And then if there's an exclamation mark over the... Uh, I was doing a quest before where I had to get to a place called Kana Peak. And it's not on the map. You have to find it by accident. Um, but what you do... What I did to find it was is I went and jumped onto into the geyser... And the geyser launched me way up into the air, obviously, because that's what the geyser does. And while I was up in the air, I could see the exclamation mark of where the things I was looking for were. So, if we go jump into ye olden, uh, whatever this is, ye olden geyser, it should take us high enough into the air to where we'll be able to see what we need. Nice Osei Tower there. Plus, I don't think I jumped in the geyser on screen. We did when we were in the Bionis interior, but we haven't used this geyser before, the jacked geyser. So this is something new we get to see. Cool. Beam me up, Scotty. 
Is that is that the phrase? I think it's from Star Trek, but I never watched Star Trek, so I think I referenced that correctly. Here we go. All right, exclamation marks, exclamation marks. Any? Any around? Yes, no, maybe so. Can't really see through the water right now, but that's fine. It'll be away in a second. Uh, nope. Nope. Not seeing anything, which is not a good sign, because that means I do not know where to go. Maybe they just don't have an exclamation mark. Maybe I just have to find the enemies. Ah, oh, this is going to be difficult. Well, it's not going to be difficult. It's just going to be time-consuming, because I've basically got to go all over Valak Mountain. Where is the, uh... I've already filled out at least most of the map, if not all of it. Where is this Antold Den that I don't know about? I wonder if that Nopon will give me, like, a... Oh, yeah, it's you just go over and take a left here if I talk to him again. Who is the one that gave me the quest? Dakuku, I think? I know where Antol Leader is. He's in Antol Den in Cave Inside Hollow Bone. Inside Hollow Bone. Just climb up and go inside to get there. Hollow Bone is the place right behind me, is it not? Is this not Hollow Bone right here? I am fairly certain that this right here is the Hollow Bone. So you're telling me that it's in here somewhere? Oh, there are a lot of enemies on the map. It looks like they're above me, though. I gotta find a way up. Got to find a way up. Is there a way up anywhere in here? Or do I have to go from beneath again, but, like, not fall straight down into the water, maybe? When I go down the, uh, why are there large handcuffs here? Like, what? Excuse me? Give me this. I think right up there is where they want me to get, but how do I get there is the question. There's gotta be a way to get up there. Because I know the way I got here is I went down that cave and it sent me down a slide and I landed in the water afterwards. There's another, like, path right there. Hmm. Where's the area specifically called Hollow Bone? It's right here, isn't it? Or is it above one? Oh, wait, there it is. Hollow Bone, I see it. Yep, it is right here. I knew it. This is the path I took to get down into the water. Ooh, wait a minute. Let me try and jump here. Jump. Yep, that worked. Cool. All right, where am I going now? That hurt. A lot of pain. Much ouch. I'm going to have to jump again here, I bet. Oh, dear. This is difficult. Hep, hep, slide, hard to maneuver. Oh, no. I just missed. I'm probably going to die here. No, I lived. All right, well, that's what you have to do. You've got to make jumps. The only reason I know how to do that is because I had to make a jump to get to the very peak of Valak Mountain when I was looking for another item. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, Valak Peak up there, which is where we're going to go eventually when we have all the giant items. What am I looking for right now? Oh, I got to go back here and try again. Yeah. Eight minutes in, no progress made. It seems like that's how it goes for me nowadays. I make no progress in the first, like, 20 minutes of recording, and then afterwards I just make all of the progress. All right, so what did I do wrong the first time? Do I need to jump sooner, later? Like, what did I do incorrectly? I might need to equip some uh, quick movement gems. Jump now. I think I'm jumping too late. Or maybe I'm jumping too soon. I honestly don't know. This is a little difficult to figure out. I might need some quick movement gems, which, by the way, I have gemmed everyone up. I'll show you all of the gems I have on everyone after I complete this jumping thing I'm trying to do. Jumping earlier there seemed to get me more distance, so I'm going to try and jump earlier this time and see if that works. Let's see if this works. I jumped way too early and I knew it. As soon as I pressed B, I'm like, no, I didn't really want to press B there, but for some reason I did. That was far too early, but I think I've got the right idea. Let's try it again. I'll get this eventually. If I take too many tries, I guess I'll cut stuff out. But I know I've got the right idea. I just need to jump a little sooner. I jumped too soon there was my problem. So this time, let's try and time it a tad better. It's really hard to do when the camera is moving so crazily right now. Oh, no. Dang it. I get right there every time. I'm so close. And I nearly die every time as well. 
So what was the deal there? Did I not jump early enough again, or did I jump too late again? Questions that may never be answered. I really hope this is where I'm supposed to try and end up. It really seems like it is, so... I hope I'm not just attempting this like a thousand times for no reason. This is really fun, though. Like doing this whole going down the slide thing and jumping. Dang it! I cannot make that jump. You know what? I'm gonna equip some quick movement gems and see if that helps me any. So I guess I should go ahead and show the gym equipments I have now. On Dunban, I've got, as soon as it comes up, double attack four, and then two agility up threes, and then an aura heal three so that he heals a little bit. Uh, then on Ricky, I've got double attack three because I had it there, muscle up three. Ricky was the one I didn't really know what to do much with. Since he's got so much HP, I gave him two spike threes and then an ether defense up three so that his, uh, defenses were, that's why he's got the muscle up, because I think muscle is defense, not attack. Or maybe it's the other way around. Nothing but ether gems on Melia. And then, uh, I've got spike three and four on Ryan, so he deals back 250 damage when he's hit. That's the max amount of spike damage you can have, apparently. Or a heal three, because that's great for him. And then I gave him topple plus four for his weapon. Uh, art stealth for, uh, Charla, so she doesn't draw as much aggro. Uh, I can't affect the ether up too, because that's auto there, as well as damage heal four. Everyone has that. Uh, unbeatable 4 gives her a chance to live on 1 by like 28%, the unbeatable 28%. Uh, she's got a chance to live on 1 HP when hit, so I put that there so she could live a hit on 1 and then heal herself. And then Ether up 3 just to give her some more Ether. Uh, and then Shulk has got auto attack stealth and art stealth along with double attack 4 so that you can hit more often and not draw aggro as much. And then 2 agility up 3s like Dunban and then spike defense 3 because I just didn't really know what else to put on him. But anyways, I'm going to take off, I think I have 2 movement speed ones, don't I? That sounds accurate. I still need to sell gems sometime. Where am I... Set them up in terms of... Field, I think, is what I want. And quick step four. And then I think I have a... Whoops. There we go. And then... I had the quick step three. And I think that's all I have for quick steps. Gotta go all the way back over here. Whoops. Too far. Yeah, those are aerial cloak. Okay, cool. So I'm 24% faster now. Let's see if this... Where am I? Am I on the... Uh, oh, I've got to fast travel back up. Alright, here we go. This is it, guys. This is the time. 24% movement speed increase. I've got this. Look at, look at Dunban go. I have got this. There's no possible way this could fail. Might be a little bit harder to time my jumps now as a result of being even faster than before. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Don't slow down, Dunban. Just pick up the pace. Pick up the pace? Dang it! How do you make this jump? I don't understand. Like, I'm, I'm legitimately confused as to how you're supposed to make this jump. It doesn't seem possible. No matter what I do, I go beneath the, uh, thing. Was I wrong and I need to be doing it at the end instead? Have I been doing it backwards this entire time and the people in the comments have been yelling at me for it? That's plausible. What about right here? Can I jump out, like, right here? No, I can't. I can lose all of my momentum, though. Nice. Maybe I did have it backwards. Maybe I'm supposed to jump at the last possible second, and that's my problem. But I was getting really close when I was doing it the other way. Like, I kept hitting the rim and just couldn't get over the edge. You'd think Dunban would be able to, like, grab onto the edge and pull himself up, despite only having one arm, but apparently not. Okay, I'm going to try and jump at the very last second, which is what I did, like, the first two times I attempted this, but whatever. All right, ignore that side thing, because I think that's just meant to fake you out. Dang it! I always hit the edge! I don't understand. I don't get how you're supposed to do this. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I just keep hitting the very edge right there, no matter what I do. I still have to find the Chilkin leader after this, don't I? I wonder if that thing isn't a fake out. Maybe if I jump earlier, I'll be able to jump out of that left side, and that'll take me to where I need to be. Maybe the correct looking... Whoa, 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 camera freaking me out. What the heck is happening? No, there's no way you can jump out of that. No way. Oh, I did it! I did it! Holy frick, I did it! I didn't think it was possible. I'm at the Antol Den now. What the heck is that? The boss right there? Barbaric Citri. This thing is level 40 frigging 7. Look at all of these pods and Intentol lying around. 